we had big, big dreams uh, cut just short at the semi-final stage against Lachlan Gales um, in a titanic tussle. But to win Antrim, uh, to win Ulster and to bring Cushendall back onto the national stage again was fantastic and it really gives us something to build on. And it was brilliant to give our community something to be very, very proud of this year. Look, I was very lucky to be in that position to have Avian with me uh, whenever we did get over the line in Ulster for the first time in five years and a special day for me and for Aileen watching watching on too. In the semi-final against the Lachlans, you know, we, we hit the ground running. I think we had five points on the board within the first seven or eight minutes. And then Joseph McLaughlin hit the goal. Joseph's a special player and I, I, I genuinely haven't seen the natural hurling ability since Joe Canning of 19, you know, whenever he was 19 or, or 20 years of age, uh, the hurl is an extension of his arm. He, he can make the ball talk. Look, all Aucklands were full value uh, for their win against us and, and they really could have found themselves as All-Ireland champions uh, very easily in the end up. Father time waits for no man and I, I, I'd give it absolutely everything that I had uh, for the period of those 15, 16, 17 years with Antrim and loved them. Um, and I'll be a a proud onlooker uh, for the future. We're a coastal community and we we have to look after ourselves, be pretty self-sufficient in truth and uh, it's a great place to be um, and you know whenever we have been successful in Antrim and in Ulster obviously the, there are no winters in the glens of Antrim on those occasions. One of our senior hurlers, uh, Dominic Delargy, buried his father uh, yesterday morning um, and to see the, the support that's offered by, by our club, by his teammates towards Dominic, uh, during a time like that would, uh, would give you huge pride in your community. And there's a, there's a collective ethos that runs through the glens and the people of the glens that um, I don't think it exists in too many places. So although we're, you know, we're rural, uh, we are a distance from all the amenities that a lot of people who live in big towns and cities are, are, are very used to. Um, we look after each other and that gives us a, a huge amount of uh, pride in the place that we come from and a very strong connection to each other.